Hi, hello, how are you? My name is Lily San from HealingHoroscope.com and I've decided to do a soul card reading for you today because I, over the weekend I have received um, a lot of questions about how to attract love and I do actually feel that as a woman love is a very important part of our lives without love um, we probably can't really function very well all right without love everything seems to be just only black and white so today I'm going to do a card reading um, specifically on the question how to attract love basically what are the obstacles that um, that is you know preventing me from accepting the love that uh, you want or desire okay today I'm going to be using a very specific oracle cards called the romance angels by drawing virtue and they are specifically for questions like love all right so i'm gonna start shuffling and i'm gonna pick up three cards all right the first card would be your past situation okay the middle one would be your current situation and um, the third one would be your future, okay? Now, um, the past could be in the past, like three months, six months ago, or it could just be yesterday. And this one states your current situation, like right now. And this one would be um, a guidance for you. All right, so let's start with the first one, shall we? The first one says, let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Well, it could mean in the past um, you, you didn't really want to allow your friends into your life or you were too shy to actually tell your friends what's going on. You know, sometimes in life we, we need to share with our friends and just be open about it and say, hey, you know, I am looking for love and um, I would like to find somebody who would... Uh, you know that fits what I want sometimes and I've seen it over and over again people find their husbands or girlfriends or spouse or whatever um, through introduction so perhaps it's time for you to actually go out and meet some new people all right in the past you could be just hiding away and not really want to meet people because your self-esteem is low you do not know what you want so this is um, in the past right but now Let's see what your card reading says for now. Flirt. Yep, it says extend your light-hearted energy to others. Now, it's actually it does actually make sense because now if you hide at home, you won't be able to meet new people, right? Now I'm not asking you to go like flirt, 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 but this card really means to let your hair down and be who you are. And um, yeah, do not don't allow other people to judge you, and don't you don't have to pretend to be somebody you are not. Okay, you will start attracting people to your life when you start behaving the way you really are, because you're actually um, being true to yourself, and in, that is also part of integrity. You know, you do you do not want to be somebody you are not and attract. The person that you don't want because he may also be pretending to be a person that he's not and therefore it may not be a fruitful relationship okay the third card is finances and career financial issues are affected in your love life right now as a woman I feel um, love is the most important thing but now as a um, 21st century woman career is also as important so do not allow your work or you know your career to be an obstacle to to actually allow you to find love in your life you need to find a balance right what's the point of having a good career but you know at the end you still want love i really feel that as a woman love and happiness is the most important thing yeah as a woman to be loved and to find love and all that it is really important 
So on a whole, your card will actually tell me that uh, you know, just let go and go with the flow and re be relaxed. Know what you want, you know, and you will find true love. You know, you must stop all those doubt within yourself. Even as a mother, if you are already married, okay, um, you need to know what you want, and happiness starts from you. Do not depend on your husband to give you that happiness. I've seen it all over. I mean, I've seen it many, many times. Married women, uh, especially with kids, they are so consumed with their daily lives, with their kids, that, you know, love is not part of their routine anymore. You know, they start taking things for granted. Okay, that's for the married woman. If you are single, you know, you have so many options. But having options doesn't mean that, you know, you have to go easy on yourself. Know what you want and believe in the law of attraction, you will attract the love that you desire. It's only when you do not know what you want, you have a fuzzy kind of feeling, oh, I just only want this, or, you know, I just only want to be loved and all that, then you're going to get a very fuzzy kind of person being attracted to your life. Okay? I do hope that you have enjoyed this reading. Um, uh, I, I find it really kind of makes sense to everyone, you know, uh, I will be, I am actually working on a new project called Soul Love Series uh, and I'll be launching my new website very soon. I'll be focusing on helping women find the kind of love that they desire and get whatever they want with love. Okay, until then, I will see you next week. I will be doing the reading again. Do let me know what you think and um, yeah, your, your comments are really precious to me. All right. Thank you. See you soon. Have a great weekend. Oh, sorry. Have a great week.